Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about raw string literals. Raw string literals is a feature that has been added into C Sharp 11. Let's first see why this was introduced and how can we use it. So let's say if you're composing or creating a string which is a JSON string or an XML string or a SQL script where there are a lot of double quotes in your string and there are a lot of uh, new lines in your string, then writing that string is a hassle. If you want to add a double quote in your string, you have to use escape character. If you want to add a new line into your string, then you have to use backslash n. If you're concatenating string, you have to use either plus sign or you can use string concatenate for that. And then reading the string becomes difficult. Like, you know, the person who's writing the string, they can tell that this is a JSON string, but the next developer who's reading the code, it's not human readable. So to fix this issue, C Sharp team has introduced raw string literals in which you can write your JSON string the way you want it to be stored. Like you can read this JSON string. And what they're saying is you can wrap the string around three double quotes. And if you want to pass any parameters in it, you can use dollar signs just like string interpolation. The reason we are passing two dollar sign is because we are passing these parameters around two brackets here. The reason why I'm passing two brackets is because we already have one bracket in the string. And this won't give you an error and this will print the JSON string the way it looks. Let's check it out. For that, I'm going to go to my VS Code here. First, I'm going to show that I already have .NET 7 installed on my machine. I'm going to say .NET list SDKs. You can see that I already have .NET 7 installed on my machine. Let's go ahead and create a new project. I'm going to say .NET new console and raw string literals. This is going to create a new console project. I'm going to navigate to that folder. And now here in this folder, if I go to the project file here, you can see that this is .NET 7. And uh, in program.cs, we have the hello world that we you know typically get with the template. Now here, I'm going to add some code because I can't write that code while I'm recording. There are so many double quotes and Escape characters and new lines, I can't write this while recording. Now, here you can see that this is the same string that we saw in the slides. I'm going to run this code and show you that it's going to print a JSON string here. You can see that this is a JSON string. So what's happening here is we have two integers and then we have this string where we are using escape character to show that you know we have double quote in our string we are showing backslash n here to show that we have uh, a new line in the string and you know the plus sign to represent that this is just one string that we would like to print and then we have dollar sign here which is helping us pass parameters here and you can see that this is not a very good looking code now let's try to do this in C Sharp 11. For that, I'm going to first comment this line and then I'm going to add a string which is going to be C Sharp 11 string. For that, I'm going to use three double quotes and I'm going to end that string with three double quotes too. And now you can see that this is throwing an error. The reason why this is throwing an error is because we haven't mentioned the lang version in our uh, project file and this is something that you won't have to do once stocknet 7 gets released but it hasn't been released yet so we'll have to add this line here so i'm going to add lang version as preview and if i go back then you'll see that this error is going at least the bigger error is gone we need to put some raw string in it here. 
So I'm going to literally copy the JSON string from my output here and then paste it here. And let's format it properly so that it doesn't give errors. Add this string like this. And you can see that this is much more readable. You can read this as a JSON string. Now let's save our file here and let's try to print this and see what happens. So I'm gonna clear my screen and I'm gonna say .NET 1 and this should print JSON the way we are seeing it here. You can see that this is what it's printing here. Now there is one more thing. We need to pass these as parameters like string interpolation, right? So I'm gonna bring this down here and let's uncomment this code and if i want to pass this as parameter i'm going to use double dollar sign and here i'm going to use double curly braces in which i'm going to pass the parameter which is going to get interpolated there look sweet now you can see that it's still not throwing any errors and it's taking our parameters let's see if it's going to print 70 and 55 instead of high and low so if i run this program again you'll see that it's printing the string and it's actually printing the values which are stored in the integer i thought this was pretty cool feature that they've added and i'm very excited about it let me know what you think in the comment section below and uh, before i end the video i would like to thank my youtube members and if you have any questions you can post them in the comment section below or you can reach out to me on my Twitter or Facebook handle. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.